Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. It's Laura from Tenacious Taurus Twin Flame Tarot, and this is going to be the general daily collective message for Monday, October the 3rd. Keep in mind, timing and energy is still fluid. This reading could play out today. Over the next several days, this reading may or may not be for you, so I do ask that you only take with you uh, the messages that resonate and leave behind the rest. So we're going to talk about some of these moon energies because I feel with the moon forming several aspects today, um, the energies are bringing forward uh, this possibility for um, some positive domestic changes, escaping uh, the mundane routine. And with the moon governing our feelings, our inner world, our emotions, and all of our hidden desires, along with domestic impulses, I feel uh, the energies are working wonderfully together when it comes uh, to embracing changes on the home front. And so this could bring change. It could be exciting change. Um, and I do feel it could lead to some upset and chaos, though. So it's like this feeling, uh, this twitching feeling of anticipation is what I feel has been building, building, building that something is about to happen. And so we're really going to want to lean into our intuition and we're not going to, we're going to want to not be afraid to uh, take a risk, take a chance and maybe act impulsively a little bit. And so I do feel a lot of change, a lot of excitement, a lot of heightened uh, sensitivity with our emotions, with our intuition. You're likely going to be really in touch with your own emotions along with other people's feelings. Um, and so I feel this is the perfect opportunity uh, to embark upon a new pursuit, a new relationship pursuit, perhaps a new artistic creative endeavor of some sort. I feel all of these feel-good qualities are coming through today when it comes to compassion, trust, and loyalty. And I do feel all of this is kind of getting triggered uh, to the surface. So I do feel a lot of attractiveness uh, when it comes to drawing in a new mystical uh, relationship experience. And I do feel uh, these transits today are favoring relationships. And so an opportunity to perhaps deepen a connection with somebody. And I also feel uh, with the moon forming a trine to Mercury today, the moon in Capricorn, it is like the goat energy, right? Uh, never giving up energy. Um, we're going to have this clarity of mind forming this trine to Mercury. And so balanced feelings between our intuition and our thinking and our perception. And so we're going to really easily be able to read others or maybe make a sound uh, judgment because we're going to be in touch with our true emotions. And so with this conjunction uh, between the moon and Pluto, though, this is going to bring forward some major life changing experiences. And these feelings are these feelings, these changes are going to be felt at a very deep, deep emotional level. Pluto is very intense energy and might trigger some psychological issues from deep within the soul to arise uh, when it comes to maybe completing a transformation within your emotional life. And so uh, this is where we kind of start stripping away all of these emotional security blankets and masks. And we're going to have to learn to adjust to this new raw us coming forward. And so I feel this Pluto energy can be quite ruthless and you might be experiencing perhaps another trying to overpower you or manipulate you. And if that's the case, maybe you need to learn to become a little bit more ruthless yourself, especially if that's not in your nature. And most of us as empaths, we can be uh, quite the pushovers, right? And so if you've been uh, the dominant type within a relationship, uh, you might find yourself feeling a little bit mellowed out a bit. So... Uh, we don't want to go to extremes, but if any extremes are taken, it will be like the finality uh, when it comes to an ending. They're showing me the Ten of Swords. And so I think of the moon energy too. The moon does represent family and our close emotional bonds. And so these relationships could be undergoing some massive changes and transformations. I think any uh, relationships that are important to you, uh, are going to be supported when it comes to uh, creating a deeper bond. But this can also lead to some upheaval and some separations in the energy. And so all things related to family, I think, are up for possible changes over the coming days. This could include uh, packing up and leaving a home, maybe even starting a new relationship that will lead to a new family structure. 
um, and I do feel um, this might be exposed publicly. And so I think get ready to deal with any personal dramas. And uh, this will be a part of like a healing experience is kind of what I'm feeling. So we're going to jump in with some cards, guys. I'm going to start off with the Spiritual Journey Oracle deck. Yeah, I think Relationship Paradigm Shifts. So get ready for some upheaval and to really be prepared to go towards what's truly speaking to your heart and your soul. And I do think get ready to be triggered. So there is a, a toxic relationship situation here that's rooted in some old uh, patterns and old mindset with yourself and another. And uh, this is being brought up in order to address these negative behaviors that are needing to be corrected. So a paradigm shift, uh, releasing something lesser for something better in the energies. And so this is really a pivotal point uh, on the transformational journey I feel in the energies today. So we're going to see uh, divine timing. Divine timing says, hey, they know what work you've done and they know that you are ready for this pivot point because I think somebody's kind of been stuck at this uh, fork in the road for a while knowing that they need to make a very important, substantial decision that will have a big impact in their life. But this is part of a, a soul alignment journey, right? And so somebody's really integrating a lot of energies when it comes to their purpose at this time. But uh, let's see what else needs to come through with the spiritual journey oracle messages. So breakthrough. A breakthrough is at hand, and I feel somebody's breaking free from a social circle that's been depleting them and keeping them stagnant. And uh, they're getting ready to seek out a romantic partnership that will contribute to their growth. And so whatever triggering event is coming up, it's going to allow you to find a solution to transform your life, this negative situation, right? And if you've been doing it, doing the work, putting in the work, I think your hard work and your perseverance is about to pay off. Um, but this is going to trigger a, a huge purging and cleansing when it comes to some old uh, family wounding, some past life wounds uh, that really have caused a negative impact this lifetime. So I feel this is where we're all being asked to identify these negative repetitive patterns and to allow this purging and cleansing for this healing and releasing. So what elements in your life can no longer remain? There's somebody here connected to a negative person or a social circle that's created a spiral of negative behaviors and uh, karmic circumstances coming up that must be purged. So yeah, get ready for some big, big life challenges and changes ahead. And this is going to be an opportunity for expansion. Our wounds can never, ever fully, uh, you know, shape us, right? They, sh they shape us, but they shouldn't define us, I guess is what I meant to say, because somebody here is dealing with a catalyst. Someone has been put on somebody's path here uh, to redirect them towards a twin soul, and I feel breaking free from a karmic catalyst, uh, and this change and challenge is necessary for a twin soul to, refoc to refocus their energy. And that twin soul connection is all about practicing unconditional love, right? We have a mirror soul connection coming through today where uh, you and another have likely incarnated with your divine counterpart. Such a complex connection, right? Because usually we go into separation and we go towards a karmic catalyst, a challenging uh, karmic contract as an opportunity for growth and expansion as part of our soul's evolution. And so... Something needs to be stripped away when it comes to some outdated beliefs, some old thought patterns, some uh, negative repetitive patterns that are being identified that really have shaped a repetitive negative cycle within relationships. And this has to be released. All of these outdated beliefs, all of these relationship patterns have to be released so we can bring this high vibration, unconditional love into the world. And so when we show an and promote love to ourselves, then we can call in these healthy reciprocal relationships. So I think it ready to be gaslit, to be criticized today by a catalyst. And this is going to be a reflection of what you need to heal. And you might want to just disconnect a little bit and take some time alone uh, to rejuvenate after an ending because we're manifesting these divine counterpart unions is what I'm feeling. So what is it that you want to create in your physical reality? Because we have the ability to, to, to attract anything we want in our lives. But we have to uh, manage our thought process, right? And we have to be uh, ready, willing, and able and open to receiving this love. And so in order to receive this divine counterpart union, there's something that needs to be released. 
There's some energy cords that need to be cut when it comes to some unwanted memories of the past, some pain, painful, unhealthy memories, unhealthy energies for this release and this renewal. So let's jump in with the tarot, guys, and see what else needs to come through. Oh my God, there's that ten of swords. So releasing a melodramatic uh, situation where there's likely been some backstabbing and some betrayal at the end of a very toxic karmic situation. So I feel relief is around the corner. And I do think it's sad, right? All endings are sad. I think there was betrayal, but there is going to be an opportunity, a brand new opportunity for a clean slate beginning for happiness. But somebody's really going to have to be careful. They're dealing with somebody very mischievous, uh, very melodramatic, and I feel an addictive trauma bond is being released in order for a clean slate beginning. A brand new, brand new, exciting opportunity is going to be presented. So let's do a knowing card spread, guys, and we're going to see what else needs to come through. I'm sure you can hear the girls upstairs. I'm pre-recording this the day before. Fresh new start, guys. Fresh new start right around the corner. So if you've been dealing with challenges and delays due to a karmic catalyst, I think uh, there's going to be a sudden shakeup, unexpected progress that is going to bring some very positive change into your life. And we're moving on from manipulative behavior. We're moving on uh, into uh, some honesty and some truth. And so releasing a trickster. I feel somebody's been dealing with a trickster, a con artist in an unrequited love situation, and there's going to be an epiphany that will illuminate some truth in order for somebody to take those next steps. That's that pivot point, that crossroads. So I feel somebody has really not been honest about a situation, and there's been resistance to an ending. There's been resistance to making these significant life changes that have been required to be made. I also feel this energy of somebody's kind of been watching uh, maybe a divine counterpart and not really communicating with them. Watching in the wings, watching in the shadows, spying on somebody, wanting to come in and ask for forgiveness so they can break free from some challenges. Wanting uh, to go back uh, to something from the past. They want to uh, resurge a romantic relationship from the past. And uh, somebody here is having a really hard time releasing these old belief systems. And they've been procrastinating when it comes to breaking free from a karmic situation, an unrequited love situation. And I feel they've been in a power struggle. They've been deceiving themselves. Um, they've received likely some poor counsel. And I do feel somebody is going to be unexpectedly, quickly uh, leaving a situation because there's just no more working together. It's a no. Nope, that ain't going to work. There's no harmony. There's no unity. And somebody here uh, needs healing in their life. And I think the light at the end of the tunnel is coming. Dead central energy is the sun. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus. But I feel uh, breaking free from an unrequited love commitment Somebody's been praying for answers, and I do think those answers are coming. I think the energy is very oversensitive. It might be very moody in the energies today as somebody comes into this epiphany. Like, hey, I'm being led towards this magical new opportunity, and I feel there's been resistance to maybe coming in and seeking some, uh, some forgiveness, a reconciliation. The renewal upright is a reconciliation. It's like the judgment card. So somebody here might be receiving some bad karma, but it's going to give them the clarity they need in their life when it comes to their purpose and knowing in their heart of hearts what it is that they need to do because somebody here, I feel, has no magic alive in their life. They've got no success. No success. They cannot manifest success because somebody needs uh, to refine a situation and in order to overcome these obstacles, they're going to have to communicate clearly. And I don't think they've been communicating clearly. I think maybe somebody has been, you know, um, withholding an apology, withholding communication, knowing that it's time to take those next steps forward. I also feel maybe you're not gonna see this message coming. I also feel uh, get ready to receive uh, news you don't want to hear when it comes to maybe somebody going towards a divine counterpart union, uh, somebody that they have a lot of love for. This is uh, divinely guided. These two people are meant to be together. And so maybe somebody in the past lacked logic. They weren't listening to their psychic insights, but there's going to be some very blunt, 
harsh communication, an event, or a shakeup to break somebody free from an unrequited love situation. So, uh, let's take a look at this epiphany. Let's take a look at the sun energy. Because I do feel we're heading towards a time of great joy and success. And uh, this is divinely orchestrated. Yeah, somebody's taken those steps forward. They've been shown the pathway. They've been uh, sitting at that crossroads, at that pivot point, And now they're taking those steps forward. So I feel something is definitely coming into manifestation. And somebody realizes it's time to walk away from a very unhealthy, dissatisfying situation. They've been in a state of confusion and delusion and disillusionment, and now they want more from life. They know it's time to move on from a very combative situation. And I feel somebody's on a spiritual quest, and they're choosing to make these changes now. Change in priorities, leaving home when it comes to a very imbalanced situation. Unexpected movement, um, unexpected movement. I feel somebody's lacking balance in their life and they're hitting, they're hitting the nail on the head. They're getting to the bottom of a situation and they're coming in ready to not give up on, on a soul connection that they, that they know is meant for them. So let's take a look at this Ace of Swords because this is the sword of truth. This is also the double-edged sword that severs a karmic connection. Yeah, because somebody, I feel the truth is, somebody's been uh, very bored and discontent in a karmic cycle, being distracted by all kinds of people, places, and things, and they've been missing the point, and they're getting a major wake-up call. And uh, they wish they could go back to a magical opportunity from the past, and they've been stuck in, in an entrapped situation. Maybe dealing with somebody that's been tearing down their self-confidence, making them feel helpless, which has created this fear when it comes to breaking free and uh, taking action and taking responsibility for their life. And somebody's really been going within, shining the light on these negative vices and maybe needing to seek out a spiritual mentor, but all done investing. There's no loyalty. There's no commitment. Somebody's been apprehensive about taking action, planting seeds in a new direction, <laughs> and uh, releasing a very unwise choice is what I'm feeling. So let's take a look at this Two of Cups, though, guys, because this is what's on the way. Uh, but there does need to be uh, a powerful change in order for this union to come forward. We've got a King of Wands, an Ace of Wands, and a Strength Reversed, yeah. Somebody in the past, I think, uh, maybe snuck away, went towards, a, went towards a very unwise choice. And, um, and now they have to take caution because I think they might have a couple people working against them and maybe going through a material loss because they've played into their ego, right? And they've lacked the strength to assert themselves and to take action. And so a realization that it's time to take action. The King of Wands takes action. This is a visionary leader, a motivational speaker, and coming into this realization that there is a magical new opportunity here, but it will require action and it will require communication. And maybe somebody's been oversensitive uh, when it comes to somebody criticizing them, but I feel a King of Wands getting ready uh, to go after what it is that they're passionate about. And now is the time to take action to release a poor decision because I think somebody in the past wasn't choosing from their heart and um, they've not really experienced what true love is. And so recovery, I'm hearing recovery, recovery. So let's take a look at this page of swords reversed because I do feel like somebody's been spying. Somebody's been spying uh, that maybe, ha you know, up and ghosted you. Uh, and they've been juggling on the fence because I do think this was a huge, huge missed opportunity that could have led to a lot of abundance. Definitely some poor counsel was received. Um, and this could be a huge loss of money, the loss of a home, the loss of a job. I feel somebody fears maybe not having enough to offer because maybe they're struggling financially. Maybe they're working too hard. Juggling is a game. They've been juggling two options maybe having too much fun and there's a need to bring balance back into their life. And I feel a major realignment and I, and I do feel, yeah, blocked communication, ghosting here, working through some abandonment energies, fears about money. Somebody fears reaching out because maybe they need to reach out and ask for some financial assistance. And, uh, 
there's that energy of, hey, they've not been learning their lesson. And this is also the energy of something needs to come back around in order for a cycle to completely close out. So I feel somebody here lacks success. They're not accomplishing anything in their life. I feel they've been going through a period of spiritual enlightenment. And they've been playing into pride and ego. And, and in order to break free from whatever it is that has been holding them back, they're going to have to go back to something from the past. And they've been withholding communication. They've been, uh, you know, maybe uh, focusing on their money. I do think struggling with money, hoarding, um, struggling with making a decision. And I feel secretly thinking about a clean slate with somebody. So you're really going to want to trust in your intuition. The high priestess goes within. The high priestess goes within to discover their true soul's desires. It could be dealing with the Pisces or any of the fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. But somebody's needing to trust in the wisdom that they've received. I also feel somebody got tempted, right? The apple energy. And uh, they've been opening up the Akashic books when it comes to their questionable motives in the past. I feel um, past life karma coming, at, coming back to bite somebody in the behind when it comes to a lack of integrity and not being accountable for a situation. And they've been lying they've not been talking they've not been honest about wanting uh, to go towards a brand new beautiful emotional experience with their true match we got true pair on the board and we got an empress here that's about to give birth to her dream so we've got a taurus libra here we've got air we've got fire we've got a feminine here that is brilliant talented very independent and about to give birth to her dream. So this is the perfect time to start a new creative project, a new creative endeavor. And you will manifest success, abundance, and prosperity. But action is required. There could also be a feminine here that needs more work-life balance. Uh, a, a balance between their career and their personal life. But I feel there's nothing this, this feminine can't do. She believes in herself. Uh, she knows she has the ability to make her dreams come true. Um, and so uh, get ready to give birth to your dreams if you're this empress. I feel somebody here has the aura of an angel. And somebody here is very much in tune with their psychic abilities. And there is a beautiful new emotional experience around the corner. And I do feel a masculine awakening to the fact that the time is now to take action. To be bold, to be courageous. And even if the answer is no... To come in and seek uh, forgiveness with compassion. Uh, somebody's really been looking at, at the past. And all of their unwise decisions that they've made. Knowing that it's time to head in a new direction. They've not been listening to their heart and what it is they need to do. So let's get a couple last messages guys from Spirit. I feel uh, there's an Empress here that needs to stay in positive vibration. Because that's going to bring more positivity into your life. And I also feel you need to uh, take care of yourself. We can't keep pouring into everybody else, right? Uh, and so there is definitely a divine feminine coming through in the energies today. And I feel uh, a masculine getting ready to accept a leadership role with this feminine. Uh, they're keeping their eyes on the big picture and their eyes on the prize. And it's this empress. So they've got to purge and cleanse some things out of their life and to find their true soul tribe. And I think in the past they were very... They were, they were not willing to compromise. They, they didn't honor this connection. And I think somebody wants to come forward and take that time to reconnect with you in the heart space. Um, realizing now that partnership requires compromise and they're opening up their mind and they're opening up their heart. And I think they've got a lot, a lot of love here. I feel somebody's been struggling, feeling very dissatisfied, very depleted in all areas of their life and they've not been nourishing themselves they've not been honoring their truth or honoring themselves and and i do feel uh this person's been going through a really tough karmic cycle and they're gonna have to find their strength and their determination to recover from this and to come in with honesty seeking forgiveness i think somebody here has been lying for a very long time because the truth is very painful so honesty and it doesn't matter how bad that that truth is it's always 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 better than a lie the truth is always better than a lie and so forgiveness is what is going to be needed here in order to break somebody free from this karmic cycle maybe in the past this person mistreated you 
and they choose to just walk away and ghost you and not look back at the past. But I feel somebody's haunted from the past when it comes to mistreating somebody. And they can't move on from this. And so they want to come in and seek forgiveness. They're getting really honest with themselves about uh, a relationship that I think uh, has served to teach them something very important about who they are. Getting honest about what is going on because somebody here definitely played into some self-sabotaging behaviors. And I feel it's kind of time to recognize that, to mature beyond it, and to step into some spiritual wisdom. Somebody's learning a very valuable karmic lesson in the energies. And I feel there is divine protection when it comes to this twin soul connection. And, and I do feel get ready to receive an offer or an invite. And this connection is very much protected by the angels. So don't worry. Somebody here is releasing a situation that is not worth their time. Major release because this situation is unhealthy and I feel they've been playing into obsessive thought patterns and they're getting ready to create some healthy space in their life in order uh, to break free from somebody who is very unhealthy to go towards a twin soul connection. And that's kind of what I got today, guys. I hope this helped. I hope this resonated. If you would like to book a personal or a soulmate reading with me, I encourage you to check out that description box below, guys. And I do look forward to seeing you all again next time. Thank you.